Welcome back guys, welcome back today. I'm sitting here with Kyle. And Kyle is brought out today his beautiful yellow saber. So thank you for that Kyle. No problem buddy. Um, man. How long do you have the car? I got the car now, say about a year and two months. Uh, bought it from another guy in Milneton side. He was basically bought it by fat boys. He paid 120 and then I bought it from him, 40,000. I offered actually he wanted 75, so what happened was I said to him, listen, I have 40 grand. I said, yeah, he's going to America. If he can give me this car and I really like it, I'll appreciate it, whatever. And he said, okay, yeah, he'll let me know. And then afterwards, a week later, he phoned me to tell me now I must come fetch it. So ever since then, I've had it. I took the engine out, took, took the DE out. I was going to go to the Premier engine, the 2 liter, but then I decided now nah, I'm going to go for the 1600 VE. Uh, all I done to it was lighten the flywheel and I have M3 injectors on here. I uh, dyna tuned the car by RBT and I'm hitting 160, first 171, then they toned it down to 168 because I use it every day. But furthermore, everything is still stock. That's about it. And um, what size is your exhaust? 67. From 67 from the front all the way, branch, everything. It's just my, it's got 65 and 67. Branch and then I have the 67 straight to the back, one silencer box. Okay, that's why it's so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is loud, but it's, it's not where you can't maintain it. It's actually alright. It's yeah. not too bad. And um, what is it? Suspension wise? Suspension wise, I got the low, I don't have the, um, the coilovers. I have a lowering kit, the Eibach one. I have a, my setup is different, it's 45 in front and a 60 at the back. So basically, there's no time for wheel spin. <laughs> I don't want wheel spin, so, but yeah, and, that's my setup. And, um, what, what, what color is this car? Okay, it's canary yellow. It was jive yellow originally, uh -huh. but uh, it was too light the color for me, and the car still looked nice, but the thing is this, I uh, ended up doing a canary yellow on it, because it brings out the yellow moment. Yeah. More solid. Yeah, it does. And, um, what's your future plans for the car? Uh, well, next month we're going to be doing throttle bodies on the car. So then I'm going to have throts put on here, then I'm going to have gas flow in port again, obviously. And what I wanted to do, I'm not sure yet. Maybe there is just another small snag that I might do also to the cam. I think uh, it's got standard cams in, but I want to do a slight, slightly print on the cam to make my ratio even quicker. Because I have the uh, LS boxing, okay, the gear, gear ratios. First, second, third, nine thousand, and fourth and fifth or eight and a half. That's quite good, guys. That is quite good. And um, so you said you had the car a year. A uh, year. It's just over a year, yeah. Okay, okay. And car still, still fairly fresh, still on my side. But yeah, I'm, I'm working slowly but surely on her. She's a heavy car, she's not a light car, but I took over a spin one day. I had the seats taken out, and oh, I promise you, with that one sixty-eight kilowatts, it gives a whole other drive. But then, uh, but the end of the day, I didn't buy it for racing. Yeah. I bought it for everyday usage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also because I like the cars. Yes, of course, of course. And um, have you been to Kelani? And what time? I know? have never ran at Kelani yet for the car. Although my buddy, he's got a, also a Sentra. Uh, he races at Kelani. I don't even know. He's got a powder blue one. Like a, it looks like a bubblegum blue one with for the set of um, Evos on. I think uh, I've seen that car, yes. Yeah, he runs a 13 something Bakelani and I literally run away from him. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm not saying I'm running that time yet. I haven't tried it yet. But if he's running a 13, then I mean, I literally came in by two cars. He said I must do the Kelani thing, but that's, then it's gonna, I'm gonna get to into the racing again, man. Now, what is stopping you from, 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 from going into the, the racing scene? As an expensive sport, first of all. <laughs> yeah, that too, that too. You right? see, when I was, when I had my DE, that was like in 1999, around then it was alright, that's maintainable. When now, with a VE, I won't say it's expensive, it's, it's reasonable, but at the end of the day, I have two kids and whatever, so I must think of them, or say the car breaks, it's going to throw me out, I can't take the light to the school and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I bought it, not for racing, I bought it for the, because I like these cars, I have a passion for them. But she's an everyday car. The, when you see me on the road, I drive here and there in the lift, like a normal person. Yeah, but um, guys, thank you guys for watching. We will, I'm um, going to try and get some pools and flybys. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.
Yeah guys, this marks the end of today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe with friends and family. And yeah, there will be going up two videos. Um, the yellow one and the old spec center. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe with friends and family. And please comment what you guys would like to see next on the channel. So yeah, stay tuned for the next one.